says. Scruffy's got a friend. So exciting. First time ever Scruffy's been eating with somebody. This might be the bird that was preening him the other day. They were both sitting on my table. I'll try and get a little bit closer, but I don't want to scare him away. One of the birds, the cockatoos, was actually preening Scruffy, which was so cute to see. Looks like Scruffy might have a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I don't know if Scruffy's a male or a female. You can't actually tell. So, but a partner, either way. Someone to love, hey? Good on you, Scruffs. Good on you, mate. A little friend for Scruffs, hey? Look at them. Scruffy, <laughs> he sure looks scruffy next to a, a beautifully feathered cockatoo, doesn't he? So, there you go. Just wanted to update you. Looks like Scruffy's finally got a little friend. See you tomorrow, Scruffs. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I'm just going to take these grubby gloves off for a minute and then I can show you one of my paws, but it's dry. Uh, do you remember the big white swipe that I did? That's it there. Now, it's not going to fit in the whole frame, I don't think, but look at that. Gorgeousness. Look at those amazing cells. I did some balloon dips in the center just to cover up the, the join between the two because I swiped um, out that way and then I swiped out that way. So just to cover up that little line, but I think it adds a little bit of interest to it. What do you think? Go this way. <laughs> I think you can see it all. Hopefully you can see it all. I'll come this way. It's pretty big. There we go. Dried beautifully. Happy with that one. I'll put it over here. And I am continuing. This is going to be my last experiment with just trying to see why my paints are splitting. So the last video I used Elmer's school glue and I got this result. So no splitting with the white and the transparent. Well, actually, I can't say transparent because they were all either semi-transparent or opaque. So it wasn't a really good experiment. I need to keep my constants constant. So they all have to have the transparent paints and they all have to have the white. There's no point having white with all semi-transparents because it's just not a good experiment. Um, so back to all... I've got two uh, transparents, these two, the cool blue and the magenta. I'm out of my sea green, so I have to make some more of that. I'm just going to torch these, see if I can get the bubbles to lessen a little bit. There we go. Just a quick little torch to see if I can get rid of those bubbles. Um, the other thing, I've just, because I had so many little um, tiny bubbles or pit, little pits see those tiny little cells those are from where the heat gun popped bubbles um, I'm just I've changed my pouring medium I've gone 60% Elmer's school glue and 40% water so it's a touch thinner and um, we'll just see how that goes maybe I won't get so many um, tiny little bubbles trapped in the thick glue mix Treadmill silicone, four cells, and let's go three in each, except for the... Actually, I might do the white this time and not do the black. I do think that the white is maybe not as opaque as the black. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Three drops in each. Changed up the colours a little bit. I know they're a bit bizarre, these colours, but I was trying to stick to, as I said, having two totally transparent colours, and the only transparent ones that I've got 
are the magenta and the cool blue. My deep green is also transparent. Yeah, the deep green, you know that deep sea green that I make? And the normal green is transparent, but I've got this pale green and I thought I'll just pop a pop of magenta in and see how that goes. Right, let's try for three layers this time. So again, 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint. It's 100 grams by six cups. 600 grams of mixed paint. I just popped all the bubbles and then I went and stirred it madly again. Go figure. Probably got bubbles again now. This black's a bit thick. I'm going to add a touch more water to it. Blacks always seem to be thicker. The heavier paints seem to be thicker, like more highly pigmented or dense. Opaque colours seem to be thicker. All right, let's pop some of this beautiful magenta against that black. And then it'll be interesting to see what the green against the magenta does. I think that'll be nice as well. Might only get two layers, we'll see. Oh no, we well, should be able to go three. I've still got some white left. Let's try for three because I've only got two cups. I don't like having too many layers because then each layer is too thin and it um, mixes too easily with the colour below it. I like them to be a bit thicker, um, bigger layers so that the colours tend to stay a little bit more separate. So this is my fourth pour today. I think it'll be my last. It's midday. <laughs> Four before lunch. Four's enough. I might go and catch up on a good movie on my day off. And then I'll come back in the studio tomorrow and do a couple more things. Um, there was something I wanted to try and now I can't remember what it was. Um, 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 um. Oh, I'd want to do a flip cup pour on a base coat and torch early like I used to rather than tilting halfway. So that's something I want to do. I also want to add a little bit of my white satin enamels paint to a flip cup pour like this to my regular global. So exactly the same as what I'm doing here, except into the white, put some satin enamel. Let's see what happens. And what else? Oh, I still need to do my colander pour. The lovely Molly sent me a colander, the same one that she uses. She's such a wonderful, beautiful girl. Hi, Molly. And I haven't even had a chance to use it yet. I've been so busy with everything else, my split cups and my experimenting and my workshops. And of course, work, work at the hospital. Work gets in the way of pouring. So unfair. So I haven't, haven't done as much as I would have liked to have done. But there's plenty of time, isn't there? Eventually I'll run out of things to do. Isn't this a gorgeous colour? Mm -mm. Magenta. Looking forward to seeing how it goes next to the screen, actually. I've never done those two colours before. So maybe I've learned something new, if it works, of course, and I can 
use these colours again because they look pretty together. Hopefully they'll react well. You never know when you're throwing colours together. Some react better than others together. Right, so. Let's flip these babies. That was loud, wasn't it? Bang. Okay. All global, cool blue. This is transparent. Light blue, uh, it's semi-transparent because it's made with the cool blue. No, it's not. I think it's made with, what have I done? I think I mixed cobalt and white, so it's more of a semi-transparent. Same with this pale green that I've made. Semi-transparent. Magenta, you probably can't see down there, but the little circle is not coloured in at all. So transparent, magenta. And then the black and the white. I'm told that they are both opaque. It says opaque on the bottle. Okay. Now, hopefully this will be it. Um, and I won't have to do any more experimenting. So the school glue is not as uh, strong as the glue all. So maybe, maybe that is contributing to my issue with paint splitting. Oh wow, those are pretty colours. <laughs> this one hasn't got much magenta and this is the one that's got heaps. Pull that on the corner. See those lots of little cells? Those little cells are the reasons why I initially moved away from school glue craft glue because I was getting these little guys up um, I don't get those with the glue all and that's the reason I changed but if the glue all is the reason why my paints are splitting then I'm gonna have to come up with something else I don't know Just don't use transparents with the white. Yeah, see how they all come up? But it's only this colour that's done it. Same thing happens when I do swipes when I use this colour and also when I use my really pale blue, my marina, I get those tiny little bubbles come up. Um, I'll show you one of my swipes. I can show you what I mean. Just climb up here for a sec. Um, see those little tiny bubbles at the top there? Same thing. It's that same colour that does that. The pale greeny colour. So that's what it does. It's pretty swipe though. I mean, I don't mind it in a swipe. I don't particularly want it in my flip cut paws though, because I, I like my background. The Global Glue does this as well. These tiny little cells, I call it like a crocodile scales, you know, reptile sort of scales, things like that, that yeah, the glue all doesn't do that. Anyway, moving on. I guess I can't have everything, hey. I'm just going to move. Actually, let's do this first because this is the biggest area that needs cover. Let's see if I can move the paint. I'm going to have to get that off because that's blobby. I don't like how that's cut across, so that's going to have to go and that can go. And while I'm doing that, I'll fill in this. 
little triangle here. Some of that can go over the edge. Don't mind if that goes over. You can go over too. Okay, that was a lot. That was quick, wasn't it? Over. Not worrying about sticks. Just over. Doesn't leave me much to tilt and stretch cells. See, it would have been really nice if I hadn't have had that. My other paws didn't have this colour in it though. Righto, let's torch. So this is a slightly thinner mix and I guess that maybe also contributes to those little scaly things happening. When I do my swipes I have a much thinner mix and I get those little tiny bubbles as well. So it, it could be that my mix is, well it is thinner so maybe that's contributing, contributing to it as well. Should just do this again even though I said I wasn't going to without that color because I know that color does that I've, I've actually forgotten about it um, but yeah this this glue acts very very similar to the global glue I think I've over torched you guys a little bit over on this side. Oh, too close. So I don't mind the cells that come up. It's just these. These aren't cells. Well, they're not the cells that I want, the round cells with multicolored rings. They're just, yeah, they look like reptile skin. It's just weird. I don't know why it does that. But if I didn't have that... It would be quite pretty. Oh look, there's cells that have popped up in between my reptile skin. That'll still be pretty. Maybe I can tilt some of those off. Let's go. So this mix, as I said, is a little bit thinner than my last one. My last mix was 70% uh, school glue and 30% water. This one is 60 40. Let's see if I can get rid of some of those scales. Plenty of paint to move around the surface. You just have to make sure that you've got enough so that you can move everything around. So back to the middle, off in that direction. And then I'll take some of that off later. Okay, slow down. I'm telling myself, slow down. Get that off. I have reduced my scales a little bit. I drag in the scales. Did you all watch Game of Thrones? Hey, did you love it? I personally was a little bit disappointed with the ending. But it just seemed, seemed to come up so fast. Boom. Done. Oh, okay. We're done. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Killing all the bad guys. That was just too easy and too quick for my liking. I would have liked it to, you know, Take a bit longer. Make it last. It was just all over in a blink of the eye and I thought, oh well, here we go, we're done. Speaking of done, we're done. Uh, I got a little bit of the scaly bits in the centre there, so I managed to get rid of some of those. Um, it's okay. I, I don't know whether my colours are as vibrant when I use the school glue they seem to be a little bit more dull I will have to you know experiment a little bit more but you know they're, they're pretty 
just going to open this this bit of pink up a little bit here. Let me get a little bit of that side off. Just a bit. Looks better. Splitting. Let's have a look. There's a few cells in here that are splitting. Let me get my gloves off. Should just run down there one more time. Um, now this was the mix that had the transparency in it. And splitting in there. The white is gone all hazy in there. Um, over here, it's gone hazy. It's just not a crisp, clear, beautiful cell. And by crisp, clear, beautiful cell, I mean these. Look at these. These are global paints. Admittedly, these are, they have got some Floetrol in them. I might have to go back to putting some Floetrol in them. I'm just trying to see if there's some haziness, a little bit of haze. Maybe I'm just being too picky, you guys. Maybe I am, but there are some beautiful cells in this. A few little hazy looking ones, but generally they are pretty beautiful cells. So maybe I'm just being too hard on myself, eh? Maybe, but um, school glue, beautiful. Uh, I don't see why you can't use school glue. Um, I would probably just keep it to one transparent in a pore. This has got two, um, and yeah, I'll take you in for a close up, I'll show you the haziness, but maybe just stick to one transparent if you are using transparents I do want to do another pour um, just with opaques which I'll show you that one later it's still wet I was going to show you something else sorry um, it's still wet my Caribbean sun uh, sunset pour I didn't have any transparents in that one and it is beautiful but um yeah i mean this is still pretty so there's no reason why you can't use oops that's too dark my school glue got some pretty cells there look at those the white's shown up the colors never as pretty when you look at it through a camera pretty cells there still got a lot of little speckles in the background i don't get that with the glue all um, splitting's not too bad I I don't know whether or not it's better see the haziness in those blue cells oops it's not focusing is it haziness in those sort of blackish with the white but anyway a lot of people don't even notice you know if <laughs> I don't know I, I, maybe I'm just being too critical and there's those dragon scales in the center um, the global glue does that and the school glue does that the Glue all does not do that. It's obviously a thick, uh, stronger glue. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. All right, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, I just don't know whether the colours are as vibrant using the school glue, but it still works. So if you're in Australia and you, you can't get the glue all, certainly no reason why you can't use the school glue. 
and it does work with the global paints it's still beautiful I'm probably just being over critical <laughs> let me know what you think anyway okay that'll be enough of me waffling on I'm gonna go and clean up and go and watch a movie put my feet up grab a coffee all right thanks for watching see you for the next one bye for now